So everyone, my name is Amy, and I'm the business continuity coordinator here at campus. So what is continuity planning? Continuity planning manages the risk to the university's mission caused by any kind of disruptive event, natural disaster, to technological events. We do this by using UC Ready. It's a web-based tool that takes the user through a step-by-step -step process to create a continuity plan. So I've put up two examples here on why continuity planning is important. On the right is Cal State Northridge, and this is after the 94 earthquake. So the buildings were so damaged that they couldn't have classes for up to four weeks, and they had to bring in 350 trailers just to resume classes. On the right is Javier University in New Orleans. This is after Hurricane Katrina. Half of their staff and faculty had to be laid off, and the students had to go to other institutions for education. So currently here at, UC, um, at UCSB, we use something called UC Ready. So it's a system-wide tool that was developed so that all UC locations and medical centers can develop continuity plans. And currently here at UCSB, we have 88 plans completed. So <clears throat> something for the last couple of months I've been working on is an enhancement project. So we've taken our current UC Ready and our current UC Resilient tool, put them together, and poof, enhanced it. We've come up with our new UC Ready tool, which you should see in coming out shortly. <laughs> so it's an enhancement pro uh, uh, project, and it actually allows for a more robust tool, and it enhances it with these cool features, and some of them are a business analysis, business impact analysis, campus-wide development, dynamic plan management, and it allows us to be compliant with the National Fire Protection Association. If you guys don't know what a, a BIA is, it basically is a report that shows me the vulnerabilities on campus and also gives me some mitigation strategies that I can use to kind of mitigate some of these, you know, the impacts or even less than that. So it also allows me to develop IT disaster recovery, which is really critical because, you know, IT plays a critical role in our essential functions all throughout campus. And it also allows me to develop an emergency action plan. Put a timeline up to show you guys how long we've been working on this. So we started it. November of 2014, and we're going to roll out hopefully by end of March 2015. <laughs> hopefully. So, testing is one of the most important things to any plan. I can have everything detailed from A to C, but if I don't test it and we wait until something happens and then we test it, bad combo, because I'm not going to be able to identify where our weak points are and fix them beforehand. On a closing note, Darth Vader didn't have a business continuity plan. So when his company headquarters, also known as the Death Star, was destroyed, there was no contingency agreement in place. And we all know how that ended. <laughs>